The best M4A1 for 1000 hundreds. Kalashnikovs are also able to kill. However, the M4A1 with its rate of fire they are unlikely to surpass. I will show you an inexpensive setup that can be a good alternative for your raids. You want to run with M4A1? Then level up your traders. If that's an issue, guide for leveling up is already on the channel. You'll need the mechanic's third loyalty level. He have a barter offer for the TXDML. If you're got lucky, the GPN sensor won't cost much. Then the barter price will be around 100,000. Maybe a little more. First of all, buy the M4 base. And fast fire sight can be obtained almost for free. For that, buy a pistol from the mechanic, remove the fast fire and sell the rest. I recommend visiting my Buy Me Coffee page. There you'll find a lot of education content about the game Escape from Taco, ranging from weapon builds to a breakdown of game mechanics. I'll be happy to see everyone there. Let's go to TX Modern. Change the sight to the one you like. You can even use fast fire. Replace the stock with the Colt A2 and install the Sandstone PRS. It's cheaper. Use the MK10 handguard and the Intrail. To obtain the Intrail, you need to complete the 22nd Gunsmith task. Personally, I prefer the RVG for grip. If you completed all the Gunsmith tasks, you can use the SE5 for grip. New parts will be around 50,000. Don't forget to change the weapon receivers. Just transfer everything to the M4. In total, you would have spent around 170,000 and if you sell the remaining parts, it will cost you exactly 100,000. Now I will show you a couple more options. In the end, the weapon turns out to be quite ergonomic. It's easy to control in close quarters combat, not too difficult in medium range, and you can even land accurate shots in long range engagements. If you haven't completed the mechanics test, you can consider using, say, QD handguard. It will be 20,000 more expensive, but it will provide even better gun stats. If you don't want to spend the extra 20,000, you can use the LVDA-S. Price would be slightly cheaper than the MK10. However, the stats are not as good, but the difference in shooting is not very noticeable. I'm very thankful you watched it to the end. See you next time. Good luck!